Edgewood's already here, and today I am with one of the one of the biggest local bands around my area. One of my favorite local bands around my area. Uh, they're called Portals. They are the nastiest, heaviest shit I've heard in my life. So yeah, let's uh. So uh, yeah, let me say your guys' names and what you guys do in the band. I'm Eris. I sing and I write all the lyrics and all that. No, I play drums. I'm James. I play guitar and I also produce our music and stuff. So, starting it all off, you guys have blown up with the song God Complex. How was it, like, how did it all start, you know, writing stuff for the first EP and everything? Well, it, God Complex came after the first EP. I actually wasn't involved with the writing process for the first uh, EP. Okay. Um, but I was. James actually wrote and produced everything for it, and this was when you were in college, right? Yeah, I was in college, and um, we formed because uh, I made a Facebook post saying, hey, I should, I want to kind of make a heavy band. Then one of my friends was like, yo, I got a, like a drum kit, and uh, my friend does vocals to form a band. I was like, okay. So we just wrote the empty. Um, I recorded it all in my dorm, and um, yeah. And then um, once that was out for a while, and um, you know, they started actually playing shows and stuff. I kind of hopped on uh, probably what, like eight months a year into it? Yeah, I'd say so. Um, and I joined on bass because that's actually you know, something that I to play a lot of. But um, it actually came to you know, the evolution of that. After a while, uh, the other vocalist, Adam, he moved out to Delaware. Delaware. And you know, I had sang a break band previously, and I was. You know, I kind of mentioned to James, like, hey, I do vocals, I do like, you know, the singing stuff as well, so we kind of just snuck that in there, and then after all that, working God Complex is kind of like my introduction with the band. And also, um, the reason why I decided to have him on vocals was because he just sent me an uh, iPhone video of him just, like, screaming along to vocals, and I was like, okay, yeah, he's our vocalist now. I, just, I think I still have that on my phone. Yeah. <laughs> that's cool, that's cool. So, uh, like I said, you guys started, I'm not going to say recently, but like recently. I know you're a more recent member joining. I wasn't joining Portals back in 2018. Oh, super easy, because I'd already known James for a while. He used to be my old fan, like, a lot. So we were already friends, and then we broke up, so James was like, hey, want to play drums? And I was like, yeah. So he sent me, like, the set list, and I just learned it by myself, and then played a basement show and that's it. It's honestly been a bit of a godsend because we spent way too much time with just filling drummers and people that knew our music and it was just like a rotating staff almost of like just James and I as the core of music and then just other people that played with us so it's nice having another like actual member of the band. You guys have been playing a lot of big shows, you book shows, you played with Brand of Sacrifice, that by your place, how is it like playing all these huge big shows? It's just, just really rewarding because I mean like it's just what, what we've been working for like all these years and like we've had a, a few every now and then like his oh. first show in vocals was actually with four so I mean like it's not like you know something completely new but like it's something that like I've been working hard for us just to build up our live presence, our internet presence and make ourselves you know hey, seem like, what's up? You can't be down there. Okay, yeah that's fine. Cool. Um, Cool. All right, we can go outside really quick. Sorry, dudes, we had to relocate. Um, so, going back, God, I can't remember what, I, what the question I was asking. Big shows. Big shows. Big How was it playing the big shows? Like you said, like I said, you played with Brand of Sacrifice, sold from them. Just how has it been? I was gonna say we played a couple shows over around the area that were like bigger. Oh. Northland. Northland too, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Northland. Yeah. That one was incredible. Yeah, it was our first sold-out show, so I mean, like, this, mm -hmm. it was just a super rewarding experience. And also, I've been always playing, playing Bottom Lounge, so Bottom Lounge is cool. Yeah. yeah. It, it's definitely a different animal than a lot of the shows that we've played in the past, just because, like, the Bloomington normal music scene, it's, it's amazing, but there's no, like, mid-level venues or small venues. It's mostly just, you know, the main, like, arena and, uh, the castle. Yeah, and like uh, even the castle, like not that many like larger big old like what am I saying? Larger metal packages come through there. Like um, larger metal show happens once every year. Maybe. Yeah, and out there, like the whole scene is just ran by um, people hosting like shows in their basements, and it's very DIY. And it's a really, really 
wonderful scene. It's just, it, it's hard to break into those bigger shows because of that, because it's all smaller and underground, really. Yeah. Um, no, no, I was just going to say, and just recently we've been starting to play Chicago more, because like Chicago is just a tough scene to break into. And uh, once we did, like, we started getting more show offers, and uh, it's been great for us, you know? So, like, you guys were on Hardcore Keen. Oh, yeah. uh, I think that was the best thing ever. It was very cool for me to be on We Hardcore actually Keen. met him the last time. Yeah, we I know. I saw the photo yeah. with James. That was so cool. <laughs> How, do, you, do you feel like you being on Hardcore Keen, that video getting over, like, a thousand views, did it help your, do you feel like it helped your career a lot? Oh, absolutely, and I think it also helped uh, Hardcore Kings. True, yeah. Not to, not to be that guy, but I mean, like... It I mean, was a mutual thing, for sure. Yeah. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, ever since, like, you guys' video has been doing one of the more... Oh, oh, <laughs> stuff and crowd killing more. I just I just think that's so cool, like, you guys blew up on Hardcore Keen before Hardcore Keen blew up. And, like, I just, like, that was so cool, and then for me to play with you guys, like, two months after, it was, like, amazing. Uh, speaking of which, I saw you guys play... Uh, played with you guys in January last year yeah. at a venue that's not a venue anymore, the Legion Rest in Peace. Right. But uh, yeah, with live shows, like, do you feel like when you guys do live shows, do you feel like it's more important to be doing live shows in the local scene than pushing your own music out online? It, it's both. Yeah, honestly, both. Um, yeah, I'm nice just just because with, with us, like, a lot of our stuff is, I mean, most of our stuff is free online yeah. as far as music goes. You guys need so, to check it out, by the way say um, everything's on our band camp for free so like even if you know we can't you know be out somewhere selling merch or doing whatever we can always you know plug that as something that's out there for free um, but as far as like you know I don't know I don't know where I'm going with it but I feel I feel like I know where you're going. Touring, yeah. uh, I think it's important but also yeah. like playing locally and like you know being connected with your local scenes is also important and yeah I mean it's just a matter of, it's like a balancing act, like it's, you know, you do want to play out as many places as you can, but it's also hard too, because I mean, for us, like, you know, we actually both work full time, and then, um, so, do you ever work full time, or you just, So like, I've actually worked the same place for like seven years now, and I just use all my vacation time to like go on tour and stuff, but there you go. when it comes to like going out west and stuff, it's definitely harder because there's just, a lot bigger jumps between states and you know we're self-funding and doing everything on our own so it is a little bit harder to achieve what you want with that sort of things. Like speaking of tours, you guys have toured with bands like Filth, like they are blowing up now. Yeah. Like shout out Filth. Shout, shout out, out Filth. Filth. Mirrors, you need to check out that song Mirrors. Yeah. Like again going back to like playing the bigger shows like how was it touring? Like going from like the small local band to going on tour with bands like Filth. And you guys are doing another run soon, right? Oh yeah, yeah. We're Necron. Necron. Yeah. yeah. Shout out Necron. Check them out too. Uh, yeah, no, it's been a great experience because uh, I mean I've been pushing us to get on those bigger tours, you know, and uh, mm -hmm. I feel like uh, I've just been really good friends with them, uh, and uh, they've been great to us, and uh, I just kind of just say, you know, we should do a tour, and they're like, yeah, and it happened, yeah. It's cool. I don't know, it's just. But there's a lot of stuff behind the scenes that like made that happen, like years of just playing shows and just working our asses off. I was gonna say it's also a lot different than like people will probably perceive it as because it's just us. I mean, our very first tour, we just packed all of our shit into a PT Cruiser and drove to Florida and back. Like, yeah. I mean, it's we did whatever we could to tour. It's, it's not to literally cancel a tour. anything that you can do. Like, it's a lot of a lot of hard work, a lot of you know time spent on just. Know, getting out there, not canceling, like just doing everything you can to. I even had to play drums. Yeah, I was gonna say we. <laughs> That's cool. We did a one-off at uh, in Philadelphia where we were gonna have somebody playing, and they wound up not being able to. But we were like, no, we're not canceling this. We're just gonna do it. Yeah, let's go. I was on drums. Scott was on a guitar, backtrack bass, and people still mashed. <laughs> So you guys put out a record last year, uh, Desolation of Eden, I believe is what it's called. Like uh, Desolation. Remember. Desolation. I keep. I always Chelsea Grin. Shout, 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 shout out Chelsea Grin. Shout, shout out Chelsea Grin. Shout out Jason Richardson. <laughs> Richardson. Hey, Jason Richardson, great guitar player. I always shout get that mixed up. But I put you guys in my top ten albums of the year. Like you guys are seriously, that was a great record. And Thank you. Burden. I went too hard for Burden. I had, to, I had to stop moshing after Burden. My head was just killing me from screaming. But like with songs like Burden blowing up. How like how was the how has it just been for you like knowing like 
burdens at 7k views and you guys are like up at 7k views now on slam world live like how is how was that to you guys it's interesting because like a lot of this ep was you know really personally gratifying for me because a lot of the lyric content lyrical content is just you know extremely personal and i think the first song i wrote for it was fate and i was just in like a really like bad spot and i didn't know where we were going to be like taking the direction of that sort of thing but then once we kind of started doing more work, you know, my headspace was starting to get better, kind of like developed in there, and it was, you know, by the time it was all released, it was just very um, rewarding, you know. E even if like the lyrics, you know, may not make sense personally or whatever, it's like it was just a very gratifying thing for me to be able to get that out there and have, you know, my feelings out for everybody. And, you know, it it's, it's, it's cool seeing how many people are, you know, actually listening to it, responding to it, and, you know, messaging me, like, talking you know, about whatever. And it's, it's just nice to get it out to a, an audience that's actually respect, recept, receptive to it. You can't talk, sorry. <coughs> Excuse me. Say Say what you said. Say it. You, you've been quiet a lot. How's it, like, with the new record coming out? And, uh... Just with doing everything with Portal, like I said, you're a more recent member. Just like, how has it been with the new record and everything with you? Oh, it's super fun. Just like, compared to my last band, it's like basically night and day. It's like nice to be like way busier playing more yeah. shows, playing like out of state, and like playing to people that actually want to hear your stuff. <laughs> like, no offense to my old band, but we're just like, we weren't that serious. Yeah. Like, joining a serious band is just like, it's way more enjoyable for me and like, doing music videos is something I never thought I'd do. But now we have two, and that's awesome. So. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, shout out Ghost Inside. Shout out Ghost Inside. Uh, before I go, again, I still consider you guys local, but you guys are really starting to blow up. Check these guys out before they do blow the hell up because they're going to. Uh, what are some local bands you guys would love to shout out? Would you consider Necrox still local? Because yes. Yeah. Shout out Dakota. Yeah. Shout out Necron, Dakota, drum for us when we needed a drummer at our most diest hours. He's a great dude and like everything he does musically is wonderful. So definitely check out Necron because they're, they're on the come up too. And also his other bands, All That We See and Terraform. Yes. There you go. Say, who else do we want to shout out? Uh, there's, there's so many. Find the Sacrifice. Find the Sacrifice. That band fucking slaps. Yes. Yes. Um, guys, death Row. Just all the people that have filled in with us. Yeah. Shout out Sean Heavy. Sean Heavy. Um, <laughs> um, love those guys. Um, yes. Shout out Soul Keeper. Yeah, Soul Keeper. Yes. Soul Keeper, yes. Yes. Also fantastic. Um, God, there's just so many, like, so many. there's so many good bands that are out there right yeah. now, and it's it's amazing. Like, there's just so many good records, so many good people, and I feel bad that we can't, like, shout out every single one of them, but we don't have. Yeah, two hours to do it. Oh, um, yeah. Well, I can change that. <laughs> Yo, how much, how much data you got on your phone? <laughs> I don't know. Well, it's, it's a cheap phone. We'll just Fair save it there, okay. Fair, Fair enough. enough. Fair enough. All right, any last minute comments you guys want to say before we close out? Any links you want to tell them about? Any places you huh? place you can find the music at? Just check out our band camp, uh, Portals Metal. Yeah, Portals Isle dot band camp, but for everything else, it's Portals Metal. Because Portals Metal Bank here was taken, or maybe it wasn't, you know, it's just, yeah, yeah, it's just whatever. whatever Portals I own. Anyways, all of our stuff's on there for free, so even if you don't have the money to buy a CD or merch or anything, like, it doesn't matter, like, we will give you our, you know, our stuff for free, so, set us up. There you go. Alright, thank you guys so much. I've been Benjamin Zart. This has been Portals. Definitely check them out. Links will be all down below. Uh, thank you guys. Uh, thank, thank you for the interview. Alright, everyone, have a nice day. Bye. Bye.